Hey YouTube, it's Zachary and Loft, and we're back with another video on um, how to be successful in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I don't have Madden 15. Uh, I'll try and save up my allowances and uh, either just do that or ask for Christmas or birthday or something, but I gotta get that game. It seems awesome. Madden 15. My friend has it. His name's Dimitri, and uh, he's in middle school with me, and uh, he tells me it's a boss game. He said the ultimate team is fun, but um, so how to be successful in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So, I would say that you need a running quarterback that can throw accurate. And, yeah, because I uh, had Matthew Stafford, and today, or, I mean, yesterday, last night, I put him at a bid of 100 coins, and, because I just want to get rid of him, but uh, I put a buyout for 3K. I don't know how much he's going for, but I just put kind of a decent amount, so I can uh, get some coins if somebody wants to buy him out, but, um... He's on the auction block. He's probably already, uh, it's probably already done, but somebody was already bidding for him, so, like, somebody's obviously already gonna get him, but it's guaranteed to get, somebody is gonna get him. I ha only have a Michael Vick, 76 overall, and I've already played two games and won two in a row. Two in a row. And I just, it's like right when I got rid of Matthew Stafford. So, um, running quarterback obviously helps. So, so... Um, you gotta have a good line, because for your running backs, you gotta have a line, because they block good, but if you have, like, a bad line, they'll miss blocks, and just do really bad moves, like, they'll fall down and get plowed by the defensive linemen and all that, and there's another thing, you have to have good defensive linemen, I mean, they have to be good, they have to have good strength, good speed to jump off the line, and yeah, so, um... Also, you're gonna need, you're gonna have to have uh, some good, decent amount of receivers. So if you can just like, cause uh, the first game that I won in a row when I first started Michael Vick, I uh, just threw it up randomly to Victor Cruz, 78 overall. I just threw it up a hail mary, caught it, went into overtime and kicked the game. Well, he had off uh, defense, which I'll be going into in a little bit. But uh, and I stopped him and scored a field the game winning field goal. So yeah, uh, it worked out good. So for defense, like I just said, so for defense, I think that you need to have at least four people blitz. Cause if they have a running play, then you gotta have linemen to stuff them. One, three three linemen I don't think's enough in the quarters defense or whatever. You gotta at least have four people blitzing. It doesn't matter if it's like linemen's uh, zoning and linebackers blitzing for them, but you gotta have four people blitzing. And it doesn't matter. I like zone and man. I mean, they both work for me. But you just gotta have four people blitzing. That's my main goal is to get four people blitzing because... You gotta get pressure on the quarterback, obviously, and you gotta get uh, and you gotta get if they're if they're of course gonna run, then you gotta get some stuffs, cause those linemen will destroy you and come back to your linebackers and get them, and it's just ugly. You gotta have four people blitzing. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe, comment, and rate, and uh. Leave your bot name at the bottom of the comment section below. Below. And I will subscribe to you. Peace.